the past year and a half has created a somewhat of a state of emergency for so many people that are in the PC space. With GPU prices exceeding ridiculous price points on the secondhand market and even retail, people have reached a point of no return to even participating in the PC industry, in the market, wanting nothing to do with PC gaming at all. And it's it's been really sad to see. It has affected people on YouTube that talk about this stuff as well because even if the videos of any sort of good value and content, people are disliking the video or won't watch the video because ugh, another another YouTuber has a GPU that I can't get. It's caused this real big negative ripple. It has, it really has. And while we have possibly seen some sort of inkling of hope of GPU prices coming down recently, well guys, we might be seeing these GPU prices going up even more. Hopefully not, but possibly. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I want to talk to you guys about the idea of GPU prices possibly going back up on the secondhand market and even getting worse in the retail space. Now guys, I know this is not a particularly popular subject here because people just want to hear all the good good news coming in that GPUs are MSRP prices and they're easy to get and you don't have to worry. And you know, I really wish that was the case. I really do. I really wish that's what we had coming around the corner. And it, guys, for a while, it was kind of looking like we were going to get that. But guys, I want to talk to you today about the possibility of GPU prices going back up, even if it's momentarily. And I want to tell you why I want to explain to you my thought behind this. And guys, I welcome a dialogue here. I welcome your interaction and in telling me your thoughts on the whole matter and you know maybe you know we can figure this out together because i truly want the cheaper prices guys i'm in this market i'm in this industry i have to buy this stuff okay so i don't want to spend the more expensive prices trust me when i say that i'm on y'all's side here i really want those cheap prices because guys then y'all get what y'all want y'all are happy y'all are liking videos y'all are engaging y'all are watching videos you're not just annoyed with the whole space so i am team cheap here trust me but guys i want to help manage expectations here and kind of have a a, a a conversation with you guys here on this whole thing so please you know i definitely welcome your comments and opinions here but guys, to understand what we're dealing with here, to understand where we're going, I, I want to briefly share with you guys, if you're not familiar, which a lot of you probably are. So just so you guys know, I'll have a little timestamp in there. So we'll pick up here in just a moment and get on with it if you know. But for those that you don't know, guys, we've been dealing with insane, insane prices in the GPU market. Prices have exceeded all time highs of what they should ever have been. In my total opinion, guys, and I, I don't, you know, people don't agree, but I don't care. In my complete opinion, I believe this has been solely because of cryptocurrencies. I believe that. I believe that cryptocurrencies has been the main driving factor of these high prices because cryptocurrencies are going up. Scalpers are buying the GPUs and then miners are buying from scalpers and Scalpers are buying at MSRP wherever they can get them. They're paying those high prices. Supply and demand, simple economics. Guys, that's, that's, uh, that's what it points to. Not a shortage because, guys, we see other things where in NVIDIA was selling to miners, pr prioritizing these GPUs by the pallets, by different manufacturers and the like. It was happening. We got documents. We got articles on it, guys. We've seen it. I didn't mean to say documents, I don't know, but we, we've got different articles, okay, in quotes. So, you know, don't try to jump down my throat on that one. Now, much in line with my theory of cryptocurrencies being the main driver as to why we saw GPU prices go astronomically high is the same reason why we saw every YouTuber and, well, secondhand markets reflect just the same, 
with GPU prices coming down, at least on the secondhand market. Now to help you guys formulate your own thoughts and opinions on the situation here, I wanna give you guys some of the variables here that are really affecting the price of crypto and what could possibly be leading to GPU prices going back up. Now to try to help further your understanding of what's going on here in the market, I wanted to show you guys the Ethereum network difficulty chart again, and I have shown this in a previous video, but I wanna kinda try to help draw conclusions here for you. Now, if you're not aware, what this chart does is basically plots how much Ethereum is trying to be mined at once. And what this is doing is basically showing you how hard the computations would have to be or complex they would need to be to actually you know, get Ethereum out to these this mining equipment because what's going on here much like bitcoin these mining this mining equipment whether it be asig miners or it be gpus are competing for computations and complex algorithms to try to get these blockchain pieces of ethereum there's only so much ethereum that's released into the network a day same with bitcoin uh but guys this is this is what's going on here and the higher that this goes the harder it is for the equipment to get these these computations solved and actually get pieces of this ethereum now guys bitcoin hit an all-time high of 64,000 back in april and to give you a specific date when that was it was on april 15th is where we got to that 64,000 to try to wrap that around and we go over here back to the chart and we look at what was going on in April. We were at this point here. We were at 6,846 terahash of mining going on in the Ethereum network. So guys, that is where we started to see the all time high in Bitcoin. And guys, everything is following Bitcoin. This is where we saw $4,000 Ethereum more people were getting into the space it just started getting more flooded and more flooded well what happened guys we started going higher and higher in difficulty well then what happened bitcoin was banned in china and then we start to see a plummet of people that are in the actual network because operations are getting shut down people are not getting into the space gpu prices are actually coming down right here this is where you see people making all these videos of secondary markets coming down in price guys you see this happening here but guys we see a little rebound here in the ethereum difficulty network chart now, aside the Ethereum network difficulty chart, I've talked a lot about how GPU prices is tied to the prices of crypto in the whole market. And guys, this has especially been true recently, or at least it has an uncanny coincidental uh, pri price action movement with it. So, I mean, if it's not, well, guys, look, uh, it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck. So let's just say that. But if it isn't, whether it is or not, guys, I'm still going to tell you what's been going on in the background because it's been this sort of perfect storm that's been going on, which really appears to have given us this relief in the market, at least briefly, with these whole GPUs that are actually showing up in micro centers now that you can buy. Maybe not for, you know, their original MSRP, but they're actually showing up now and the secondhand market is coming down. Now, one of the looming things in the background that was coming for Ethereum was Ethereum 2.0. And it has been rumored to be launching this month and about to happen and was going to be the end of mining Ethereum, which has been one of the biggest, biggest contributors for this whole crypto apocalyptica that we've been dealing with, guys. I mean, we've seen the 78 rig mining setup. We've seen Zotac themselves promoting mining. We've seen NVIDIA articles with NVIDIA selling to miners. Guys, we've seen all of this stuff and most of these guys they're mining ethereum and so guys we, we could only assume we could make these connections that this was going on but with ethereum 2.0 what was about to happen was the this whole mining gpu stuff for ethereum was about to go away it was about to stop it was about to cease because ethereum 2.0 was changing the fundamentals on how this all worked they were moving to proof of stake instead of proof of work but the proof of work was where the we see the whole mining and guys this has been what ethereum miners have been expecting or about to happen for a long time coming there's a running joke talking about how oh proof of stakes never come and guys this thing was supposed to be actually launched back in december of 2020 and that was what it was supposed to happen but it didn't so where are we at now it looks like a 
Ethereum 2.0 is getting kicked down the road. This whole merge that you see here, guys, this is what we were really anticipating here happening and going to be the cutoff for Ethereum mining. But it looks like it's getting kicked down the road to the end of the year, early 2021. Uh, Vladimir or whatever his name is the CEO or maker of Ethereum has stated this and it's just it's not happening now now one of the other things we're actually coming in and changing the fundamentals on how Ethereum worked or at least the gas prices and transaction for Ethereum worked was going to be EIP 1559 now what EIP 1559 was going to do was basically change how these fees and transactions work. And to try to keep this as uh, layman as I possibly can, there's a graph here for you guys. Now, prior to EIP 1559, everything that was going on on the network, any fees that were associated with transactions such as uh, converting cryptos or changing, withdrawing, sending, whatever, whatever fees that were incurred with all of that action on the network, the miners that were on the network would actually get part of these fees or they would get the fees and the blockchain rewards as well as so the miners that were actually mining ethereum would get the fees and they'd get the ethereum now with eip 1559 what's going on here with an introduction of a coin burn what's going on is the base fee so the fees that we were seeing prior just like before uh, 1559 that fee that we would see on the network would just be burned instead of going back to the miner and there would be a little tip that you could put on to the network as well and this would allow the miner to get a little small portion of that as well now with the tip option there is supposed to be some sort of prioritization that you can choose uh, from like low priority mid priority to highest priority and that would kind of dictate the price or the tip that you would pay the miner uh, on the network and this would also you know speed up the transaction so the faster and highest you paid and tip the quicker that that transaction would actually occur now you might be thinking to yourself for those that actually know what's going on well if 1559 was coming on and there's no sort of mining that's happening on the network that's proof of stake now well how this would actually transact or work now is these people that are actually on the proof of stake would this these miners would be the people that are actually on the network uh and have their coins staked at that time so these would be the quote unquote miners now with all of this going on it really wasn't looking good for you if you were an ethereum mining operation and it especially wasn't looking good for you if you thought you were going to move into some other coin instead of ethereum because china decided that they were no longer going to be mining bitcoin allowing mining operations in china with over 300 billion being removed from the market cap on bitcoin and understanding how the market follows bitcoin for whatever reason it was not looking good for you if you thought that you were going to take your operation from ethereum and move it to some other coin like ravencoin because guys the market cap simply could not support it it couldn't so what were we seeing we were seeing the difficulty of mining begin to come down as we would continuously see people start to get out of the space among the impending doom of Ethereum 2.0 and Bitcoin being banned in China. And then, you know, this big slope off that we see right here, what what was happening? My best guess is people beginning to try to sell their mining operations to try to make up some sort of profits or losses on the market before you know they were flooded completely with excess hardware and you know what else are we seeing we're seeing youtubers continuously make price videos about prices coming down prices are coming down gpu prices are coming down in tandem with all of this but this is where i talk about why i believe the prices of gpus could possibly go right back up because what is going on in the background is even though we have seen Bitcoin get banned in China, we have seen all of this stuff happen where it appears that Ethereum 2.0 is coming and it's going to knock people out of the mining space for that. And all of these other indicators showing us that you know, the crypto takeover of GPUs is beginning to recess. Well, guys, a lot of that has to do with the price action and the profitability that's been going on. But in the background, guys, in the background, what we keep seeing is crypto's not done. Crypto's not done on its bull run. 
Now, guys, I keep up with this stuff because I am invested in it. So I watch a lot of these things. So the price action that's going on there in my belief in them having their relationship with each other is 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 solely embedded in what I believe is to come based on what other people are saying. Now, I follow channels like the BitBoy, the Blockchain Backer, Moon Lambo, a lot of these guys that talk about the bull run in, is not over, how Ethereum is going to possibly hit 80K this year, how Bitcoin is going to get over 100K by the end of this year. Guys, if this stuff happens, if this stuff happens, we are going to see people try to jump right back in to mining and full force because mining will be at the very top of profitability that we have seen and we're going to see that difficult chart go even higher because people are going to jump back into this full force now there's a lot of people that have been in the space and they're not stopping mining they're going to keep doing it because they're in anticipation of this so it makes sense they got their sunk costs going on they're they're not worried too much about that but i mean this guy i mean the I'm not going to go ahead and take these articles to the bank, guys. But, you know, there's plenty of other people that are going off and saying these things. Plenty of people that are saying, hey, the bull run's not done. We're going to see all time highs that we've never seen from Bitcoin, from other coins. Altcoin season coming is what they like to talk about. And guys, if this happens, if we see Bitcoin jump up high and just show it begin to skyrocket back up irregardless of china's involvement if we begin to see ethereum begin to climb back up to that 3000 that 4k that we saw guys i'm just gonna say we're gonna see these gpus follow that's what i believe that's my opinion that's what i think and with the whole ethereum 2.0 being moved to the end of the year or the first of next year it just opens up the gate for more ethereum mining for now for now with those things involved with all that stuff going on with the price action going to what it's anticipated to go to in ethereum 2.0 and not coming just yet getting pushed back yet again guys i think we're gonna see i think we're gonna see these prices go right back up Guys, like I said, I invite a dialogue on this. I invite you to share your opinions, to tell me what you believe, to share your concerns. Maybe you have information I don't have. I don't really know. Guys, this is my my speculative opinion. This is what I think based off what I see. So, guys, if you got a different point of view, feel free. Share it. Let me know. Guys, that's, gotta, that's all I got. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share the video subscribe we do our best to help out here that's it we'll see you